entertainment capital of the world? Well, you bet. But the state of Nevada and specifically the Valley bring a lot more to the table than just fun and gaming. Well, welcome to Nevada Build. I'm Ty Quinones. Real manufacturing, real jobs and real products are being created every single day and all around us. But we're spotlighting them in special reports that we are calling Nevada Built. And here are a few companies that definitely fit that mold. So that, that is the monster right there coming out that I see right yes. there. The first thing to hit you on the factory floor is the wonderful smell of fresh, warm corn tortillas. They're ready to eat like that, but they fry them. The second thing you notice, the warmth and kindness of owner Teresa Martinez. There's the expression when people are in the kitchens, they cook with love. But I get the impression that that's also true here. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you go out there and you meet our, our team, um, they're our family. In 1979, Teresa's dad, Jose, a Mexican immigrant, struggled to get his business going. Today, Tortillas Incorporated employs nearly 140 people. Their chips and tortillas, under the Los Arcos label, can be found at local grocery stores and also the most popular restaurants on the Strip. They tailor make their products based on what the chefs want. Every chef wants their own brand, their own style, their own little you know, niche, their own tortilla. They want it small, they want it red, they want it green, they want it to look like a heart. Or We have chips, we have tortillas that actually look like a deck of cards. Everybody has a different taste. To say this is a family-run business would really be putting it mildly. My two daughters are here, my niece is here. Uh, my goddaughter's here, my brother-in-law, and my husband. I hope I didn't miss anybody, but they're all here. But there is someone who is not here, Teresa's brother, Gus. My brother built this team. He's a great man. Late last year, the beloved CEO of Tortillas Incorporated passed away from COVID. I got to just keep going. And there's a lot of walls you run into and a lot of... Sorry. Yeah. But I got to keep going. To add to her heartbreak, Teresa lost her mom a month later. To see what you're doing now, to me, is a testament of, of your strength and your character. You know, um, I just, I feel like sometimes, why me? Am I being tested? And the only thing I can, I can think is that, you know, God has something. I'm here for something. I have a reason. I have a purpose. I don't know what it is. And I get up every day and I, and I said, I have to do this for my mom. I have to do this for my brother. And I got to take care of dad. All of it weighing heavily on Teresa. But despite all of that, she still invited us in, not only to share her struggles, but also to share her family's triumphs and the well-earned pride that is right here inside this North Las Vegas factory. All right, so here we go. Fresh off the uh, factory floor here. Ladies first. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, they're still warm. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Mm. That's a good chip. Mm-hmm. Need a little guacamole. Yeah. How about a beer? Well, you have a beer somewhere here? Yeah. Michelada. That's really good. Scrolling through the company's archives is kind of like taking a stroll down memory lane. It is essentially a who's who, you could say, of Las Vegas signs. Some, like the wedding chapel, they can't part with. This is cool. So what are you guys going to do with this? We're just holding on to it. This yeah. is one of those treasures. We don't have the heart to get rid of it. Jeff Young is the senior vice president of Yesco. You may not be familiar with their name, but you certainly know their work. Young estimates that maybe as much as 80% of the signs on the strip are built by Yesco. Many right here in this plant. It really does not get any more iconic than the hard rock guitar. And this is the latest version of it. Yeah, this is going to Tulsa. You know, we built the first guitar of all guitars here in Las Vegas. This latest version is some 65 feet tall and weighs tens of thousands of pounds. And rigorous engineering demands mean that it will have to be able to stand up to 100 mile per hour winds. So uh, I'm curious, in the, in the engineering standpoint, you have to take all things into consideration what are some of the biggest challenges weather-wise that you guys have to think about when you're designing these and engineering them? Well, wind is a big one, yeah. but water incursion is another huge factor because we're dealing with electricity. And uh, particularly the new modern screens we have, it's all, it's, it's circuit boards. 
We've got to keep weather off of those. The Young Electric Sign Company started more than 100 years ago by Jeff's grandfather outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. It now has close to 1,000 employees, including 350 workers in Las Vegas. We have five main manufacturing facilities, and this one in Las Vegas is the largest. And when they're not building, they're restoring. Yeah, the six months ago, Vegas Vicky was sitting right here where we where we are, and so we went through a complete renovation of her. It's up down at Circa downtown right now. But what they do build here is all part of an evolving process as they keep pace with new technology and increasing customer demands. So I tried my best to get a sneak peek at their more secretive projects, the ones few know about. Yeah, the, the newest, biggest projects are so much bigger than anything we've ever done. And we're still under non-disclosure, so I'm going to have to just say, you wait, to, wait till you see what's coming down the pipe. I, I can't get it out of you now? Yeah, the screen we're looking at now is, is 30 times bigger than anything we built. No kidding. Yes. And we'll be back with more of Nevada Builds after the break. But looking for more Las Vegas content, you can download the KTNV 13 Action News app on your Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire TV streaming device and get the latest news and specials all on your time. Visit ktnv.com slash apps for more information. Look and welcome back to Nevada Build. For more information on the companies that we spotlight in this half hour, you can visit our website at ktnv.com slash Nevada Build. So it's got a little pizzazz to this one. If you got one hand, just throw it forward, pen comes out. Versatility, creativity, and ingenuity. They are all out in full force at the Fisher Space Pen Company. Brothers Matt and Paul Fisher showing me around their Boulder City facility. Any pen coming out of this place has to be able to withstand conditions you might not even imagine. We actually froze this one so that you can see that it writes in. So them, okay, yeah, it? of oh, course. Yeah. Ice cold. Yeah. Okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and of course, it's still going strong. So negative 30 Fahrenheit to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, it writes anywhere on the planet. And that's including underwater, as they showed us here in this demonstration. But their pens are probably most famous for working even in the zero gravity conditions of space, allowing astronauts to write while upside down. My grandfather developed and patented the Fisher Space Pen used on all manned space flights in 1966. After 18 months of rigorous testing by NASA, it was proved for use uh, on Apollo 7. Oh, seven. Very first manned space flight, yes. So, I mean, is it fair to say the majority of manned space flights from NASA has had one of your pens on board? I wouldn't say the majority. I'd say 100% of them. Fisher space pens are also used by Russian and Chinese space agencies. What makes your pen special? How, how is it that you guys are able to make these pens that are so durable? Oh, uh, my grandfather developed a thixotropic viscoelastic ink that allows it to sustain extreme conditions and also the the pressurization of the refill the ballpoint anything and everything about our writing instruments is top notch and that's why nasa comes to us the company went in a new direction during the pandemic developing these raw brass pens the unfinished brass provides a unique antimicrobial benefit for anyone concerned about cleanliness there you okay, go that. yep that's good yeah now knock those two buttons together all right ready Here yep you go. Then came my turn to try my hand at pen making. Shove it all the way in, uh -huh. grab this handle, pull it, and hold it until it releases. Go ahead and release, and pull that guy out of there. There you go. And since you built this one, you got to keep it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful <laughs> pen. It, it's, it's an honor. Amazing, really, to see the intricate work that goes into what really seems like such a simple instrument. It's been a constant work in progress here in Boulder City since 1976. We cultivate a, a family atmosphere here at Fisher Space Pen. A lot of the employees have been here since 50, 50 years. Uh, they've held me as a baby, my brother Paul. Uh, they, wait, so, some of the people who work here used to hold you. As yes, a absolutely. Yeah, it really is a fat family atmosphere. We love all, all our employees. We know everybody on a first name basis, treat everybody with respect and dignity. Without our people, without our family here, our lifeblood, we couldn't survive. And we'll be back with more of Nevada Builds after the break. But looking for more Las Vegas content, you can download the KTNV 13 Action News app on your Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire TV streaming device 
and get the latest news and specials all on your time. Visit KTNV.com slash apps for more information. And welcome back to Nevada Build. For more information on the companies that we spotlight in this half hour, you can visit our website at KTNV.com slash Nevada Build. We're going to go in and look at the way we uh, automatically manufacture facial masks. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at this. All right, beautiful. Speed, efficiency, quality. That is the focus for RS Automation USA. The CEO Tony Wright gave me a tour here of this demo facility in Henderson. They essentially are building the brains for any type of automation. This is the heart of what you guys do yeah. what you're about. Yeah, this is this is what we do. Yeah. Right? And this stuff. This is this stuff controls the motors very fine-tuned motors. This automation line is built to show off what they can do, and it also has a useful byproduct. This is the, the final version. Oh, yeah, now, it comes yeah. through, it flips over there. As you can see, it's got no ear band at the moment. Right. This machine puts the ear band on. The finished product, KN95 masks. In this whole process, how long does this take to, to make a mask? Well, like I say, we do 70 masks per minute. RS Automation is a Korean company. It is developing technology that has all kinds of applications. We are producing OLED TVs for LG. We're doing work for Samsung. Our equipment is using everything from ma car manufacturing to um, beer making. In December, Wright set up shop in Henderson with the goal of providing high-tech solutions to manufacturing problems and challenges. He's looking right now to hire more than a dozen engineering design employees while also helping diversify our local economy. So we're not doing gambling, we're not doing gambling machines, we're not doing service industry stuff. We're truly a high tech company and I'm hoping that more and more manufacturers will move into Henderson and Nevada and will utilize our products in helping to manufacture their their, their products. And it's all at a lower cost than you might expect. So these small companies that thought this kind of automation, this technology was out of out of bounds for them, right. not so much anymore. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's in the reaches of the small and medium manufacturers. 20 years ago, only big manufacturing companies could automate, right. put robots in their plants. Uh, a unit like that 20 years ago would probably cost about $10,000. Right. That would just be for the hardware. The unit now is about 400 bucks the brains of automation, and it's Nevada built. Todd Quinones, 13 Action News. This is the outdoor showroom. Debbie Summers' showroom and manufacturing facility is like none you've seen before. This is a 53,000 square foot warehouse, bigger than a football field. And there are stories to be told here. Lots of them take, for instance, this chair she rents out. And that we put in every Christmas to uh, over at South Point. And uh -huh. it's um, uh, we have Tony Orlando does his Christmas of show uh -huh. sitting on my chair. That makes sense. Everything about that sentence is just pure Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> and Debbie knows Las Vegas because Summer's Furniture now has been in business here since 1989. Her luxury high-end outdoor furniture is all custom built. What is this? What do we got here? Uh, this is thermary, thermary pine, oh, which is what they do decks, yeah. the indoor houses that you'll see here. This is thermary pine that we put in here. Her customers include the biggest names on the strip. These are all Bellagio and MGM sofas. That's what we do for Super Bowl. And those we built, those are four-seater sofas. So these all, this is what they rent out typically for yeah, a Super for, Bowl? For, yeah, for Super Bowl, because yeah. people don't come to Super Bowl. They don't come in threes. Right. They come in twos and fours. So we built them four-seater sofas. Out of this operation, right near Valley View and Sunset, furniture can be rented, sold, or reupholstered. How many employees do you have? 13. 13. Mm -hmm. And there's kind of all, everything's manufactured and built here? Everything is here. We don't buy frames and then, you know, do them. We, we build the frames over here. So when, when we say this is truly Nevada built, Absolutely. it doesn't we're get not, much more no, Nevada built no. than this no, stuff right here. No, we're the ones trying to get the wood. But she's not just selling to the strip. She started selling to residential customers after the Great Recession hit. I can imagine for you that's really also to a big selling point for your residential customers is to say, hey, this is the kind of quality stuff 
that the big casinos are using. A absolutely, absolutely. And then when they can go on our website and they can see where we did this hotel and that hotel and, you know, and they were there. Through the years, Debbie has had to reinvent her business in order to survive. The pandemic being the latest test. I just went, you have got to be kidding me. Come on. I mean, what do you mean we're closing down? So Debbie decided to open a mid-range line. When you talk about the, your price range, what, what do you, I mean, depending on mid-range, upper end, what, what, what's the price range here from, from your outdoor patio furniture? You can go anywhere from an end table for $500 to a sectional for $10,000. Your business is another example of now that the, we're seeing the casinos and everything start to reopen, I guess you're anticipating this stuff will eventually start to be rented again. Yes, we certainly hope so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, we have enough of it that we're just waiting for all the events to come back again. And we'll be back with more of Nevada Builds after the break. But looking for more Las Vegas content, you can download the KTNV 13 Action News app on your Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire TV streaming device and get the latest news and specials all on your time. Visit KTNV.com slash apps for more information. And welcome back to Nevada Build. For more information on the companies that we spotlight in this half hour, you can visit our website at KTNV.com slash Nevada Build. Take everything you think you know about construction and forget it. Building a home is no longer measured in months. Now it can be done in less than a day. That is the promise being made here by the people at Boxable who provided this promotional video. It's a foldable home that comes in a box. Unpacks in about an hour. You plug it in and you're living. It's very, very nice. And all for under 50 grand. That's what we're yeah, talking about. Yeah, $50,000 locally delivered for free. This 400 square foot single bath casita with full size appliances so nice. and nine and a half foot ceilings may just be a game changer. Consider college students, people who've lost their homes to natural disasters or the people sent to help them. And that is just the start. I mean, from everyone from like a mother in law to, uh, you know, affordable housing for, for low income people and senior citizens. Right. So the configuration started out uh, for the ADU, accessory dwelling unit for the California market. And we thought, let's configure that. Let's get some sales going. Let's learn our craft with this new technology. And then it absolutely blew up with the public. Blew up to the tune of 20,000 orders and counting, according to Boxable CEO, Paolo Tiramani. This is an enormous space. I mean, it's like three or four football fields in here, at least, almost, yep, right? That's right. It's an eighth of a mile long, and this is Factory one. This massive factory in North Las Vegas is set to go online by the end of the year, and the potential output is impressive. Think automotive assembly line meets home construction. Every 90 minutes we'll be putting out uh, a home from, from this facility. With the rising home prices, Boxable COO Greg Ellers sees a tremendous need. If you live in Stockton, California, and you get universal basic income of $500 a month, you can afford a Boxable. Those types of things are solving problems that our society says we need to be addressing right now. And we have that capability. The price of housing that has gone up here just in the past couple of years, that's squeezing out a considerable amount of the population. A lot of them are senior citizens. Absolutely. And so what we've been doing and working in my, uh, in, in my role is engaging with some of the local officials to create new master plans for communities. The casitas can be stacked together to make larger homes or apartment buildings, solving a need with the promise of style and quality, and it's Nevada built. We have a double sized sink, a window, if hopefully you have a view, lots of counter space, and many, many knickknacks that we have here. So it's fully detailed out, because why not? It's 2021. Yes, it looks good, and oh yes, does it taste good. Mm. That's why I can't work here. Right? <laughs> That's, That's why. why I shouldn't work here. No. <laughs> Ethel M. Chocolate's story begins in 1981 with Forrest Mars Sr., the creator of M&M's. Marketing manager Lisa Vanderson explains. 
Forrest Mars Sr. retired from the M&M Mars Company, moved out to Henderson, Nevada in search of just a you know, leisurely lifestyle um, in retirement. But Mars was apparently feeling restless. He had one more endeavor he wanted to conquer, and he opened Ethel M. Chocolates in honor of his mother and the pieces that they made in their kitchen in Tacoma, Washington when he was a child. He said, I want to take my mother's recipes. There are 16 original recipes. I want to make them as high quality as possible and put them in a beautiful box for people to enjoy. And that's Mother Ethel. Ethel, Ethel yes. Ms. His mother Ethel. So we can thank his appreciation of his mom and also Clark County's lax laws at the time for bringing us these wonderful flavors. What would you like? You know, I'm going to have to go with the bourbon uh, dark chocolate combination. Good choice. Yeah. It's okay. my favorite. All right. Let's light that candle. All right, thank you, Vic. You're very welcome, sir. I appreciate it. And so this is probably what you think brought him here. You know, legend says that he thought, again, that there were loose liquor laws here in Vegas, and he wanted somewhere where he could infuse liquor with chocolate. All so, right. yeah. Here's to loose and the liquor there you laws. There go. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Nice. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> the bourbon, mm -hmm. it's not too much. Offset by the chocolate. That's special. Yes, thank yeah. you. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Another big attraction here is the famed three-acre cactus garden, frequently lit up during the holidays. Mar Sr. was an avid gardener, and so he started the cactus garden outside. There's actually a picture up front that shows in the beginning he was even selling small cacti for 15 cents. But the focus here is, and really always has been, on making quality chocolates, as Ethel M. Chocolates right now is celebrating its 40th anniversary of being Nevada built. This is what we call our classic collection. We put this in a round box, sort of as an uh, uh, in honor to hat box days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks exactly, like a hat box. Right. Yeah. And then on the back, you can see these are all the original recipes that he and his mother made when he was a child. This is actually the one that you tasted earlier that you saw being made today. I think my education has to stop right here. <laughs> I'm going to eat my way out of a job if I, if I stay here too much longer. I understand. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> oh, man, this has been great. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you, you for the tour. Out. Thank you for the history of Ethel M's. Thank you for watching Nevada Built. If you missed any part of this program, push the back button on your remote, then scroll down until you see KTNV Digital Exclusives. There, you're going to find this and also all the specials that we publish every single week. Well, stay tuned for more from 13 Action News after the break and check us out anytime on KTNV Streaming, Las Vegas News on your time.